Howdy boys, it's NPC and today we're going to be customizing the Molotov, which is a fighter jet in GTA Online. It's currently on sale this week and that might have flown under uh, some people's radars considering the DLC dropped just two days ago. So, so we're going to go ahead and customize this and uh, I did change it to white for the sake of the thumbnail because it does come in gray. But uh, first up, we're going to do our armor to 100. For countermeasures, we're going to throw in the chaff because I think blocking missile lock on is a little better than blocking actual missiles because if they're fired at you, like, I don't know, you just try to outrun them, I think. Unless it's an oppressor and it's got 20 anyway okay i got really tripped up because i already have a molotov i was customizing my molotov so all of the upgrades are already <laughs> maxed out so for this new one i just throw in the armor and countermeasures that we already did um i am gonna throw on the drop tanks because i still think that they look really cool for the engine we're gonna max that out for the handling i'm gonna go with sport handling because race handling is really finicky on a lot of air vehicles like they can just mid-air break and I think it's really weird and uh, it's kind of uncomfortable. So I'm going to go with sport handling. For a livery here, the Molotov looks beautiful by default, but I think I do want to go for something a little bit different. Um, this one looks pretty sick. The Cherenkov Vodka. And then for a respray, um, it's in like some kind of gray by default. Oh, it looks so good, but I think we should try to change it. See if we can come up with anything cool here. The red two-tone does look pretty sick. You know what? I think that's what I want to go with. I think the red two-tone looks immaculate. What red do we want to do? I like the candy red. It's a nice color distinction. For secondary color, let's see if we can maybe match the primary red. I don't think we're going to be able to. That's so bright. It's like a crew red or something. The closest we can get is Torino, which definitely does not look bad. Or we can go for like a yellow or something to try to match the, uh, the star. No, we can't get the same shade of that either. I think leaving it in a Torino red is going to look really good. So that's what it is homing missiles of course we're gonna throw that on and uh that is all of the molotov customization let's take it out so unfortunately for the molotov as beautiful as it is it does not have VTOL, which sucks uh nor does it have an explosive cannon it's just a regular machine gun i really like the handling of the molotov though it feels it's very smooth oh so i did throw on race handling instead of sports handling because on the molotov it doesn't feel bad on the brand new Raiju, the race handling uh, causes it to like randomly break in the air. Anyway, on to uh, the Molotov's performance. It's, it's machine gun is not explosive, unfortunately making it way worse than the other three fighter jets. Um, it's pretty much missiles only with this thing, which is, you know, not bad per se. But of course the cannons are a big part of like dogfighting and whatnot. And uh, it not being explosive is like a huge setback for the Molotov, which it just, it sucks. I don't know why Rockstar didn't throw on an explosive cannon for the Molotov. Everyone was really hyped to have a new fighter jet when it first released. And uh, it's kind of disappointing that it's got this flimsy machine gun because this is not going to do anything to anyone. The brakes on the Molotov are really good. It's like, it's really easy to land it in small spaces as you guys just saw. I had so much room there. Like I definitely could have landed like uh, even past the lake here and, and not hit the insurgent, which is a really nice feature. But uh, here we are with uh, an insurgent pickup. I'm gonna be testing the machine gun and seeing how long it takes to blow it up. Recently uploaded to my channel is a fighter jet comparison between the Hydra, the laser and the brand new Raiju which are right now the big three fighter jets in the game. And we did do a cannon test against the insurgent. So uh, I've got a pretty good idea right now of what's a long time. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. I, I just broke the glass. Um, I need to shoot like at the insurgent. Okay, three, two, one, go. So that was about nine seconds shooting directly at the engine of an insurgent pickup in order to blow it up. For a little comparison, the Hydra and the laser blew the insurgent pickup up in two seconds. And uh, the Raiju, even with its cannons that are really far spread apart, blew it up in like five-ish seconds. And that was with splash damage. So the Molotox machine gun is useless. It's so bad. That being said, if you are just a fan of fighter jets, um, I think the Molotov is a really nice looking jet. It feels really good to fly around and overall provides a pretty good uh, airborne experience. And definitely doesn't really like fail the test as a fighter jet because the homing missiles are uh, pretty useful as well. Just no cannon, which sucks. 
because Rockstar definitely could have made so much more money. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed, comment down below, and let me know what your thoughts on the Molotov are, especially compared to the all new Raiji that was just added into online. Sub to the channel if you guys are new. There will be more videos like this coming out in the very near future, and that's about it. So take care, and I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace!